Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will understand the process of circulation of blood. So wherever you have the red color that would mean oxygenated blood, wherever you have blue color that would represent deoxygenated blood. So here this is the heart, this structure is the heart. Here you have the lungs and here you have the body tissues which represents various parts of the body. Now from heart the blood gets pumped out. So here you have the auricles and the ventricles. So let us say this is the right auricle, this is the left auricle. This is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle. Now what happens? Now all the deoxygenated blood, that means all these cells, they undergo the process of respiration and they give their carbon dioxide into the blood. So they throw their carbon dioxide into the blood. So the blood carrying all the carbon dioxide from the various body tissues becomes the deoxygenated blood and this deoxygenated blood enters the red or right auricle of the heart. So as you can see here, now when it enters the right auricle of the heart, from right auricle, how can it enter the right ventricle? Only when this valve is open. So when this valve is open, it enters from right auricle to right ventricle. And then from right ventricle, it goes to the lungs. So who carries this deoxygenated blood to the lungs? It is carried by pulmonary artery. So pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from heart to the lungs. Now inside the lungs, real exchange of gases take place. That is exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide will take place here. So the oxygenated blood will come out of the lungs. So oxygenated blood will be carried by the pulmonary vein and it will take it to the receiving chamber of the heart. That is the left auricle. So once it enters the left auricle, from there it will go to the left ventricle when this valve will open and then from left ventricle again it will go through the arteries which carry the oxygenated blood to different parts of the body. So this picture represents the process of double circulation. Now this movement of blood from right auricle to right ventricle, again from right ventricle to pulmonary artery, again from left auricle to left ventricle, from left ventricle to the different arteries. All these happens due to the appropriate opening and closure of the various valves. So now let us see how exactly the contraction and relaxation of the auricles and ventricles take place as the blood enters or comes out of the heart. So now first of all the auricles relax. Both. That is the first step when we talk about circulation of blood within the heart I am talking about. So what will happen in the first step? the auricles relax. So both the right auricle and the left auricle they will relax and that's how they will receive blood. So when they relax they receive blood. So during receiving blood more space is needed because more blood is coming in. So relaxation provides more space. So any object when it relaxes there is more space, there is expansion. But when it contracts there is less space. So that is the first space. That is how uh, the auricles which are the receiving chambers they receive blood this is followed by the contraction of the auricles so the auricles will now contract now when the auricles contract what happens the space inside the auricles reduces so whatever blood is there in the auricles they tend to flow into the respective ventricle so from right auricle it will flow into the right ventricle from left auricle it will flow into the left ventricle now during this stage these valves will also open up the valves which are present between right auricle right ventricle and between left auricle left ventricle that is the bicuspid and the tricuspid valves will open up and that is how blood will flow from the auricles to the respective ventricles and in the the third step the ventricles will contract so when the ventricles contract then what happens now when the auricles had contracted that time the ventricles were in relaxed state so that's how it has taken the blood coming from the auricles now when the ventricles contract they pump the blood outside so the right ventricle will pump the blood to the lungs and left ventricle will pump the blood to the pulmonary the left ventricle 
to the arteries which will then carry it to different parts of the body so that's how the auricles and the ventricles contract and relax and due to this contraction and relaxation of the auricles and ventricles we actually feel heartbeat so have you heard that people if, if you touch near your heart you can actually feel the rhythmic movement of your heart that is that is what we call as heartbeat so this heartbeat is nothing but because of the relaxation and contraction of the auricles and the ventricles as the blood moves through the heart so here in this slide it shows a clear cut picture of how the blood flows from one chamber to the other chamber for example from the right auricles the blood flows into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve from right ventricle it flows into the pulmonary artery which carries it to the lungs so till here it is only deoxygenated blood so this deoxygenated blood comes from various body parts through these superior vena cava these are the veins so now so here that's why the arrows are in all blue sign because it talks about deoxygenated blood right now then this deoxygenated blood reaches the lungs there uh, the real gas exchange takes place and oxygenated blood comes out which goes into the left auricle from left auricle to left ventricle from there it goes into the aorta which is the biggest artery and from there it goes to rest of the body so that is the entire process of circulation and i hope by now you understood how exactly the circulation of blood takes place in our body and how heart plays a very important role in pumping blood to the various body thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.